back to another video. Today, I'm excited to give you a detailed breakdown of the cost of our incredible two-bedroom off-grid house. But before we dive into the numbers, let's take a quick tour as I share some fascinating details about the building. This house occupies an area of 875 square feet or approximately 81 square meters. The size is 35 by 25 feet. As we enter through a steady Turkish security door, we find ourselves in the living room, which boasts a spacious 18 by 11 feet 6 inches, with a ceiling height of 10 feet. The ceiling material is plasterboard, and the floor finish is with 60 by 60 centimeters gray matte tiles. The TV wall has a graviato finish with a mix of vibrant paint colors. For security, we have installed burglar proofing on the 4x4 feet windows. The living room is equipped with 5 double sockets, 1 single socket, 2 medium blade ceiling fans, 10 spot lights, 2 LED lights and 1 1.5 horsepower air conditioner. Moving on to the corridor leading to the guest bedroom, we have an 11 by 12 feet space with 5 by 4 feet windows also fitted with burglar proofing and sliding windows. The floor continues with a light grey 60x60 60 60 CM matte tiles. The paint colour in this room is natural calico and the ceiling is made up of plasterboard as well. There are two LED lights and a long blade ceiling fan along with three double sockets and a beam door. Adjacent to the guest bedroom is a shared washroom with a slight step down. Measuring 7 by 5 feet, it features a slim tank WC, a countertop basin, a standing shower, a cabinet, a mirror, and various essentials like shower curtains, a sponge holder, a soap dish, a brush holder, and a towel rail. The floor tiles is matte grey, 20 by 80 centimeters with a rough surface and the wall is adorned with 20 by 60 wall tiles. The window size is 2 by 2 feet and it has a plasterboard ceiling, a beam door, one single socket and one spotlight. The corridor itself is 4 by 11.6 feet with a plasterboard ceiling, one spotlight and one double socket. Next, we step into the master bedroom, a 12 by 12 feet little haven with a 1.5 horsepower air conditioner. Three double sockets, one single socket, and the same light grey 60x60 matte tiles. There are two pieces of 5x4 feet windows with burglar proofing and sliding windows, a plasterboard ceiling, two LED lights, and one long blade ceiling fan. The ensuite attached to it is 6x7 feet space with a countertop basin, mirror, standing shower, cabinet, and various essentials like shower curtains, a sponge holder, a soap dish, a brush holder, and a towel rail. The floor and the wall tiles add a touch of sophistication with their 20 by 80 matte grey and cream tiles and 30 by 50 cm rough surface of white wall tiles. Moving on to the kitchen, a closed space measuring 12 by 6 feet, featuring a 5-door kitchen cabinet, a granite countertop, a double bowl sink with a hot and cold faucet, as well as a 2-door hanging cabinet with a wine rack. The ceiling, like the rest of the house, is made of plasterboard. Nearby it, we have a 5 feet 6 inches and a 4 feet 6 inches storeroom with one light and one double socket and a utility room 
also 5 feet 6 inches uh, by 4 feet 6 inches in size, housing the solar batteries, inverter and the main distribution board among other things. Stay tuned as I break down the cost of this entire off-grid house in the next part of this video. If you are enjoying the tour so far, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. See you in the next segment. segment. We embarked on this project around April 2023 and after about 8 months of hard work, we successfully completed around the early part of December 2023. The total cost covers everything from the substructure all the way to the borehole and I want you to note that some prices that will be mentioned were discounted rates due to the fantastic people I collaborated with and the suppliers I purchased from. We kicked off with the foundation using 650 pieces of 6 inches solid blocks, 70 bags of 42.5 hour grade of cement, 16 pieces of 12 millimeter steel, and then 8 pieces of 3/8 steel, and then one trip of 18 cubic of chippers, another one trip of 20 cubic of sand and then three trips of 20 cubic of latrite and then class B pipes, two rows of DPM and then three buckets of bitumen. The total cost for this phase including materials, transportation and labor amounted to 29,620 cities. We didn't buy wall board for this phase because we had a few available that we worked with. The foundation took about three days to dig and about a week to complete the block work. Moving on to the superstructure, we utilized 1,800 pieces of 5 inches solid blocks, 40 bags of cement, 42 pieces of 12 millimeter steel, which was for both columns and then the lentil, and then 15 pieces of 3 8 steel as well, and then 20 pieces of wire board, which was used to cast the columns as well as the lentil. Now the total cost for this phase covering materials, transportation and labor was 30,816 cities. The roofing phase then came and it consisted of woodwork and the roofing installation itself. The woodwork did cost 21,914 cities and the roofing installation was 21,000 cities. We used long span wine colored self lock roofing sheets of 0.45 mm thickness. The total cost for this phase was 42,914 cities. For the electrical and plumbing piping, door frames, and burglar proof, the total cost was 12,191 cities. This included PPR pipes, which was used for both hot and cold water, provision for a solar water heater during the plumbing. And then for the electrical piping, it included the conduit boxes, the PVC pipes, circular boxes, and the main distribution board. And then also we used a total of seven door frames. The burglar proof was also part of this uh, phase and it did cost 4,200 um, cities for a total of 10 windows. So for this phase again, the total cost was 12,191 cities. Moving forward, the plastering, security door, and screening. Um, gave us a total of 15,825 cities. For the plastering and screening, we used a total of 50 bags of cement and then we also installed one Turkish security door. Now the cost for this phase covers the labor, materials and transportation. So once again, the total cost for this phase was 15,825 cities. 
So the electrical wiring phase then came and the total cost for it was 7,530 CDs covering various cables such as 1.5 mm for the lighting and the fans, 2.5 mm for the sockets, 4 mm for the cooker unit, 16 mm for the distribution board or from the distribution board to the main power source and the TV cables also were part of this uh, phase. So the cost once again was 7,530 CDs. Then we come to the flower bed. So we created a flower bed and it came at a cost of 1,406 CDs. This included 80 pieces of 5 inches blocks, 5 bags of cement and then labor as well as transportation. We now move on to the internal and external ceiling as well as the scheming of the walls. So the internal and external ceiling installation and scheming of the walls gave us a total cost of 21,552 CDs. This covered labor and 32 pieces of plasterboard, accessories such as corner molding, channels, perforated corners, omega, mesh tape, among others. And then also for the external ceiling, we used 3.5 bundles of TNG, that is a 4 inch size, with the corner clips as well as the edge clips. So the total cost for this phase again was 21,552 cities. Now we move on to the solar system and the final electrical fitting. So before I continue, I want to shout out to Sansam Solar for their substantial discount on the solar equipment for this particular phase. The total cost for this phase was 72,946 cities. The solar components cost 64,900 cities and this was as a result of the massive discounts that it gave me and then also we have the electrical fittings that came at a cost of 8,046 cities. The solar system comprises of 9 pieces of 460 watt monocrystalline panels, 2 pieces of 100H 48 volts lithium-ion batteries, a 5,000 watt 48 volts low voltage hybrid inverter and more. The electrical fittings covered lights, socket switches, fans, the earth electrode as well as the lightning arrester. The total quantity of lights are 33 pieces and then 26 out of it was for the inside of the house and then 7 pieces was for the outside including the porch. The total number of fans are 5 pieces, 2 long blades uh, which were for the bedrooms and then we have 3 medium blades for the living room as well as the kitchen. So once again, the total cost for this phase was 72,946 cities. Now let's move on to the soakaway system and the tiling. So working on the soakaway system and the tiling amounted to a total cost of 32,801 cities. Tiling works alone did cost 28,547.20 cities. We use Spanish tiles throughout. Now the soakaway system was 4,254 cities and for the soakaway we used 10 bags of um, cement and then 200 pieces of uh, blocks. The sliding windows came at a cost of 12,000 cities. The kitchen cabinet and internal beam doors came at this point and for that it gave us a total cost of 19,225 cities. The doors and accessories installation did cost 6,045 cities and um, the kitchen cabinet came at a cost of 13,180 cities. So for the kitchen cabinet, we used laminated boards and a granite countertop. So we purchased the laminated boards, took them to machine shop to uh, precision cut them into various sizes and then brought them to site and then assembled them together. For the door locks, we used quality small size Italian locks and then we created an architrave around some of the door frames that was um, fixed. So we also had the doors um, sprayed as well. Now the total cost again for this phase was 19,225 cities. Now let's move on to the plumbing works that included the sanitary appliances installation, the biodigester as well as the installation of the solar water heater. So this um, phase came at a total cost of 21,962 cities. The sanitary appliances and plumbing pipes came at a cost of 13,242 cities. And this was as a result of we using class B pipes for the external works. It was pretty much expensive. Now the biodigester was 1,320 cities and the solar water heater was 7,400 cities. 
for the solar water heater we used a 150 liters tank low pressure system now the low pressure system operates with gravity to distribute the water and it uses thermal tubes to make the water hot after the water is hot any excess water goes out from the steam pipe and the hot water is able to stay for about 12 hours or more so there's hot water stored in the water tank throughout the night until the next day when the process starts again so it's basically utilizing the sun rays to produce hot water there's another system which is the high pressure system but that has a different technique to how it works we mounted a solar water heater on a rail avoiding drilling off the roof so the total cost for this phase again is 21,962 cities. Now let's move on to the painting. So the painting phase did cost 12,110 cities, covering both labor and materials. And then for the materials, we used one bucket of graviato, two buckets of white colored emulsion paint for the ceiling. We used primer, five buckets of 20 liters of acrylic paint. And then that was three for the interior and then two for the exterior. And we used two gallons of white colored oil paint and then two gallons of tap and tie all these gave a total cost of 12,110 cities now let's move on to the air conditioners the cylinder cage as well as the water pump cage so installing two pieces of 1.5 horsepower air conditioners a cylinder cage as well as the water pump cage amounted to a total cost of 8,210 cities so the air conditioners um, came at a cost of 7,260 cities. So this is for both the air conditioners cost as well as installation. And then that of the cylinder cage and then the water pump cage was 950 cities. Now to complete our off-grid home, drilling a borehole and connecting it to the water storage tank was essential as the rains had stopped. The total cost of the borehole was 16,000 and connecting it to our water storage tanks which are 1,000 litres as well as an additional 3,000 litres making a total of 4,000 litres that cost us 3,050 cities. This cost was for the purchase of HDP pipes that was used on the, uh, was laid from the ground all the way from the borehole to the water tanks. Aside the pipes, we also purchased accessories which was used in addition with the pipes and um, as part of that we also had to connect an electrical cable all the way from the pump to a power source to be able to turn on and um, turn off the, um, the pump when need be it now this brought the total cost for this phase to 19,050 cities once again 16,000 for the borehole and then 3,050 cities for the pipe works and then the electrical part that was done so um, as I said earlier, I got some of the services or materials at a very discounted rate. So uh, ideally, the boho should have cost more than 16,000 cities. Adding up all these figures gave a total cost of 360,158.20 CDs. Yes, that is what we've had to spend so far. Now, I must say, I'm actually still having some debt I have to clear, especially with the solar um system so yes so this this is the total cost but i still have some data I, i'm still clearing and i would like to extend my sincere gratitude to one of the companies known as nyamiti Asi enterprise for their invaluable support and in providing essential materials such as blocks and cement as well as sometimes even steel on credit they accommodated my financial needs by allowing me to make weekly payments until the completion of the project. Now, Nyamiti Asi Enterprise specializes in producing quality solid and hollow blocks, utilizing a hydraulic press machine for precision as well as more compact blocks. In addition to blocks, they offer um, a range of building materials including cement, wood, nails, and many more. So you can contact them using the numbers on the screen and they are located at a place called Obakura, which is closer or within Ashalaja. So notably, they are capable of making deliveries to locations within and outside Accra. When reaching out to them, kindly let them know that you did learn about them through my um, video. Maybe you might get some discount from that. I would also like to express my appreciation to Sansam Solar Company 
located at Spinktex in Accra for their generous support in providing solar products. They offer a diverse range of items such as panels, batteries, inverters, and accessories. For your solar needs, contact them using the numbers on the screen and don't forget to inform them that you discovered their services through my video. So they also um, give me massive discount and in addition to that also give me almost all the products on credit and then I've had to take time to pay them. I'm not saying that is going to be the case for everyone but this is as a result of the relationship I have with them. Now furthermore, I also want to acknowledge TopTech Roofing System for their exceptional work in the roofing. They went above and beyond by offering a substantial discount of the 0.45 millimeter roofing material used in the project. Originally, I had preferred 0.4 millimeters thickness because of cost, but due to color and availability, they graciously provided me the 0.45 at the same cost. So to get in touch with Top Tech Roofing System, use the contact details on the screen and be sure to mention that you um, were referred to them by uh, me from my video. Aside from that, I would like to extend a huge thanks to my team, Eric, that is a foreman, and then the Mason, um, Cosmos and Sylvester, the professional plumbers, Alex, the electrician, Oliver and his team, that is the plasterboard scene installers, Simon and his team, the painters, Mr. Capo, the construction carpenter, we have Emmanuel Lawson, the furniture carpenter, and then Mr. Omar, the AC installer, as well as the Yao, that is the tiler. So, to all the persons that were involved in um, this project, bringing it to this particular um, completion, I'd like to say thank you to all of them. I hope this breakdown provides insight for your own project. Even though cost may not be the same, you probably have an idea about some of the things that you would need, as well as what is likely to cost you for the project. Now, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe for more updates. Um, in subsequent videos, I'll try as much as possible to explain why and how we did certain phases or certain parts of the project. So stay tuned and see you in the next one.